just trying to fart on you, I'm not going to lie. Who is that? Yeah. She's cheating on me. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back again. Hello. Welcome to today's table video. Mm, today's... Hello, <laughs> John. You're reminding me of my dad, then. <laughs> just saying my dad. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so we still got COVID. We still can't taste or smell. Watch. Smell my armpit. You smell anything? It smells nice. I bet it doesn't. I mean, it's just done my hair as well. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what a heck job. So we're going to do a never have I ever challenge. Um, no, it's not going to involve alcohol. That's not it for us. It's not what we do. Don't. It's not what no. we're about. Uh -uh. Why? No, I don't like don't, it. Don't you speak <laughs> me. <laughs> so it's not what we're about. We're getting too close, aren't we? No. Look at all the room. This is literally like our bed. She's got like that much space there and I'm 12 foot <coughs> nine and I've got no space. <laughs> Wait, three, two, one. <laughs> all right, okay, hey. smash it. Never. No clapping. Pet peeve. I hate it. So loud. <laughs> brings me right down, honestly. Never. It brings me mood from here to here. Wait, do we need to have a white bottom pen? Because if we do never have it, like. I don't know. Oh, no. Maybe we do. Okay. Should I put no on this yes, one? Yes, and. Ah. Yeah. It's what we need women for. They use their brains. So what we're going to be doing yes. is asking a question. Never have I ever ate a wasp. And then if we have, we will show yes. If we have not, it will be a no. And of course, I have not ate a wasp. So you get the idea. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever eaten a wasp. <laughs> Are you about to say that? No. Oh, okay. Never have I ever stalked an ex on social media. Define stalk. <laughs> Mine's is a big fat no, because all of my exes have been dumped. I've actually never been dumped. And they all block me. So, impossible. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't been on the page after we split up. So I'm guessing that means it is that technically is a yes. stalk. Yeah. But it's not, a, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. You yeah. have. Never have I ever shat outdoors. <laughs> yeah. I think I've watched you shit outdoors. <laughs> You've never watched you shit outdoors. I like to watch her shit outdoors. <laughs> I have watched you shit outdoors. Oh. In a rocky waterfall. Yeah. We went camping and you really needed poo. We were was, a long yeah. way from civilization. And he pooed in a waterfall. It wasn't in the waterfall because that was too scenic and beautiful. I'm not going to be shitting the gap up on the side of the waterfall. <laughs> Yeah, but it's in a little d dutty cave. Um, but yes. <laughs> no. Never have I ate a wall. Yes, ate a wall. <laughs> the answer is yes, but I was very little. And hungry, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Starving. Um, me and my mum and my dad and my brother used to live in a pub and I used to go to the cellar and the cellar was, I think, I must have been deficient in some sort of... Or drunk. Something. <laughs> I was a kid. And I, but the wall was crumbly and I used to go down and eat some of it and it just used to be like... Damp, grey wall bit. It Are was you like, sold? It was like sandy. I just think I liked the texture and the taste. And one time I got a bit stuck in my throat and I was too scared to tell my mum that I'd been eating the cellar wall. So I went to sleep at night unable to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> I was a freak. Still are. <laughs> Never have I ever broken up with someone. I will. We've already answered that one. Yes. Everyone. I think I've done it by text twice, you know. That's rotten. I know, but like, if you live at certain parts of the country, like. No, I get that. Is it bad or do you yeah. like? RIP to all those we have loved and lost. Um, it's Can not nice to break up with someone. It's really, it sucks really, doesn't uh -huh. it? To hurt someone and break someone's heart. But sometimes you have to do things that are the best for you. Okay. I'll well, just spat with like that. Never have I ever been to a strip club. Yeah. I used to work in one. 
technically same, yeah. but I also attend one without working for one. I worked behind a bar in a strip club in Spain. Um, it was actually the cleanest. Was it male or female strip club? Female. It was the cleanest club and it was the coolest club and it played the best music. As you know, I used to be a stripper, so worked in a strip club <laughs> and also on my 19th birthday I went to a strip club, so there you go. Um, yes, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Never have I ever stripped. Yes. <laughs> and never stripped. Yeah, used to be a stripper. Never have I ever used the other person's toothbrush. Yeah. Yeah. We swapped a lot of. Yeah, I mean, when you're this deep in a relationship, you know what I mean? It's like, what? what is you boundaries? need to use the other person's toothbrush exactly. What is a boundary? Never have I ever had dog biscuits or used to eat dog biscuits as a treat. I've never done that confidently. So you'd eat wall, but you want to eat a dog biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a Log dog. Logic. There's nothing on the wall that says don't eat me. There is definitely on the back of the dog treat packet it says don't eat me. Absolutely. 100%. Not my for grandma human. used to feed it to me and my brother. I'm like, we actually enjoyed it. Not for human consumption. There was like a biscuit tin and then there was a dog biscuit tin. Mm. And sometimes you just don't know which one's which and you, you know. Maybe she was kidding you and, and you thought. No, it was in the shape of a bone and it was an actual <laughs> dog biscuit. Y'all are weird. Never have I ever drunk juice out of a container such as orange juice or apple juice and put the lid back on and put it back in the fridge and allow other people to pour a drink out of it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want time in there. No. Ah. Can't do that when you share. This is why we've got COVID, guys. I've done it, but I don't do it now as an adult. I know oh, better. Right, yeah. No. Never have I ever had an annoying boyfriend. Never have I ever stolen something. You haven't. What have you stolen? So when we was in Spain, we was like 12, maybe 13. My older brother was, he was like, Yo, let's go take something from um, just one of those random shops that you find on like the strip somewhere. Um, we was taking shit, we was doing like every shop, and then we put it in the suitcase. And wait, you what? What's rewind? Mm. You were doing it in every shop. Yeah, there was like lighters, little alcohol things. Oh, there was everything, like everything you can find random in like a strip shop. We just literally took so much. It was a big adrenaline, like oh, it's so fun. And then we put it in our suitcases back in the hotel and um, my oldest brother, he caught us and was like, oh, listen, I'm going to tell mum and they blackmail us the entire holiday. So <clears throat> it wasn't worth it. I've never stolen anything, but I remember the first time seeing a friend steal something and we were in New Look and she said, let's steal something. And I was like, oh my God, I'm such a shit bag. Like I can't. And she was like, just put this in your bag and she gave me a scarf and she put it in my bag. She wrapped one round her neck and she just walked straight out of the shop and I walked behind her and I was like, you know what, I can't do this. And as she walked out of the shop, I swerved, walked <laughs> back round the rack, put the scarf back on and walked out of the shop. I was like, I can't do this. She, get she with did, yeah. I used to steal people's scoobies off their bags. Oh really? Yeah, like you just cut them off the bags. <laughs> and I was a fucking riot mate. Well, that is all for never have I ever challenge. I'm enjoying these challenges, you know? Yeah. It's fun. bringing back some like, re not repressed memories, but what do you call them when they're just not repressed, they're just un and they're they're forgotten. They're just memories. Memories. Another pet peeve of mine is when my little things. Musicals especially. Let us know if there's anything that you've thought of that you maybe want to ask us, want to get to know about us, and we will do that. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, Please. share it with your friends. Please. And also, social medias will be in the description. Yes, also have a single out, Little Prayer, Amelia C. Type it on Spotify. Yep. It's my prayer, baby. It's my prayer. It's my prayer. It's my prayer.